around 30 to 40 percent of people who have hypertension have underlying kidney disease and people with kidney disease as many as 90 percent of them have high blood pressure now high blood pressure is a high pressure in your arteries the kidneys are full of small 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 arteries because it is a filter to the body's blood so this high blood pressure affects the small arteries of the kidney and damages them and slowly this leads to a progressive decline in the kidney function itself. People with hypertension are very likely to develop kidney disease as compared to the general population. To give you an idea, the two most leading causes of kidney failure in our country and in fact around the world are diabetes and hypertension. So hypertension, uncontrolled hypertension where the BP is remaining high without the knowledge of the person um, and um, uh, hypertension where kidney tests were never done, all of these are one of the leading causes of kidney failure in the world. So there's two things here. There is a type of hypertension which comes in kidney because of kidneys. It's called renal hypertension, wherein what happens is that the blood vessels or the arteries that supply blood to the kidneys, they get narrowed. As these arteries get narrowed, the kidney gets a sense that it's not getting enough blood. It pushes the, uh, pushes the secretion of a hormone called renin. So there is an overdrive of renin because the narrow artery of the kidney is narrowed and this overdrive of renin causes a very high blood pressure. This is called a renal artery stenosis leading to hypertension also known as renal hypertension. On the other hand, hypertension due to various other causes can damage the kidney also as I described because it damages the small arteries and hence damages the kidney. So, um, so there's various ways in which blood pressure can affect the kidney and in turn kidney disease can affect blood pressure. It's, it's a vicious cycle. Please understand that bo both hypertension and kidney disease till it's very late don't have any kind of signs and symptoms. Other symptoms that people with hypertension should look out for which indicate kidney disease are a foamy urine, passing froth or foaminess in your urine, having swelling of your feet or swelling around the face, they wake up and say you know we felt our face was puffy, um, having breathing difficulty, on walking you feel a bit more breathless than usual, having unexplained nausea and vomiting, um, appetite loss, um, sometimes itching all over the body, um, decrease in the urine output than what it was before. All of these are symptoms of advanced kidney failure and anybody with blood pressure, if they notice any of these symptoms, should definitely get their kidney test done ASAP. With screening, unfortunately kidney disease is, uh, has symptoms very late. Please screen yourself if you're a hypertension, that's number one. Control your blood pressure. A lot of people come to me and tell me, oh, you know, my body is used to a high blood pressure. There is no such thing like that. Please ask your doctor what is a normal target range for you and keep your blood pressure in check in those ranges. Control your blood sugars. Exercise. Exercise is known to not only lose weight, but it's also very good for your kidney and to reduce your blood pressure. Decrease less salt in your diet. Uh, you know, pickles, chutneys, sauces, we eat so often. High salt diet is known to cause more kidney damage than low salt diet. So decrease salt in your diet. Do not smoke. Smoking is directly related to kidney harm. So um, eating healthy. There are diets which are known to be good for patients with hypertension. Look up these diets. So ask your doctor about it. Eat a healthy, uniform sort of uh, diet. Um, I think those are some of the more important things and screen regularly. I think very simple tests like um, two of the tests that I recommend for screening are a urine test for protein leakage. It's a very simple cheap, uh, cheaply available test and a blood test for creatinine. These are just the screening tests and if any of these are abnormal, please consult a nephrologist or your doctor who will advise more detailed testing like testing for your ultrasound to look at the shape of your kidneys, a more detailed testing of urine, testing for your hemoglobin and other electrolytes in the blood.